Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me ranking my BH Cosmetics palettes. This is something that has been going around ranking my Jeffree Star palettes, ranking my so-and-so palettes, whatever, and I have a ton of BH Cosmetics palettes. I love BH Cosmetics and I want to share them with you and I want to tell you what I like from least to favorite, least favorite to favorite. And yeah, I have a whole basket of them. Ooh, and we're gonna go through them. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'd love to have you come join because once we hit 500 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. So let's go ahead and get started. My least favorite palette. I did a dedicated video on this. Um, it's really pretty. Um, I'll, link, I'll have a ton of videos linked down below as well as the makeup that I'm wearing. Yesterday's video, go check it out. And I really like this palette, but it's difficult to use. And this is the Stellar Collision palette. And I almost was going to say it from BH Cosmetics. All these palettes from BH Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. These are all baked eyeshadows. They're all very glittery, very shimmery. And I gotta not swatch all these because I got a lot of them in here. This is just something that is super pretty, but you cannot do a full look out of this. And I've noticed that with a, with a lot of their baked eyeshadows, they're gorgeous, but you can't really use a lot of them. I low-key kind of regret buying this just because I don't really get a lot of use out of it. I have a review dedicated, a dedicated review video, and I will link that down below for you. The next palette... We're going from least favorite to favorite. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I did a rainbow eye tutorial over the summer. I'll link that down below. And I tried using this palette and every time I would pick up a color, it would just fail me. And it has such a beautiful um, color story. Everything is rainbow and beautiful. But a lot of these mattes in here just did not do it for me. I don't understand why. Um, I might actually declutter this palette and give it to somebody else. Just because it did not work for me. I don't know. It was just, it's very odd because I love BH Cosmetic Shadows, but this palette was just not it for me. All right, the next one is the Take Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition. It's the same thing as Take Me Back to Brazil, but this is all shimmers instead of mattes. This, I really like the shimmers in here. You can't get a full look out of it. And I love like just a one and done palette. Yes, I love mixing palettes, but there are days where I need to get ready for work in 15 minutes and do a full face. And I don't have time to dip into three different palettes. And so this palette, I cannot reach into a lot. When I do a super colorful look, yeah, I'll definitely wear it and whatnot. But um, yeah, I'm def I would keep this one for sure. But again, not my favorite. Next one. This is the Sil Sylvia Ghani palette. Looks like this. This was a collab. The colors, while they look really cool in the pan, they are overall pretty dull. Not gonna lie. Um, this opal shade right here is super chunky and just not it. It doesn't even look good on the cheeks. Like when you blend it out for like a highlighter or something, it just flat up looks like like you didn't know how to blend your highlighter, whatever. I think this is marketed as a highlighter. No, it's an eyeshadow. So even on the eyes, like it doesn't really do much. And a lot of these deeper tones, they just looked muddy on the lid. Um, these shimmers were nice. I would have to say, even, but I like this one better than the Rio palettes. The Brazil palettes, right? Not the Rio palettes. The Brazil palettes, just because you can do a full look with this, whereas the Brazil palettes, you can't. My next palette, the Aurora Lights palette. This is so pretty. They have three different kinds of formulas in here. So they have, so they range from sheer color, right here, they have it on the back, high, sh high shine glitter top coats, which are right here, and then ultra reflective metallics and rich shades with the intense pigment. Again, this, I love it. It's so beautiful, but I can't do a full look out of this. I don't know, I love my matte shades for the crease. I liked this better than this, um, what is this called? The Stellar Collision Palette, just because I could do more with it. It There was better color payoff, even with the glitter top coats. 
Um, I felt like they were just overall very um, just present and glittery and shiny and wet looking and I love that with a metallic shadow so I really do enjoy this palette. Next um, is this, this is a big one, this is the Zodiac palette. And this is supposed to be 25 eyeshadows and then a highlighter in the center. This is really nice because they take that baked shadow formula, but they make also um, matte shades to kind of create more looks. I need to dig into this more. I feel like I haven't, and I really like this palette. And I'm going to say about everything. I like every one of these palettes, maybe besides the Stellar Collection and the Take Me Back in Brazil, but... Overall, I really like this palette. I love the baked shadows in here. I have not used the highlight shade as a highlighter. I've always used it on my eyes, but this is so pretty. It's kind of a more cool, cool toned, muted palette. It's not very colorful, but it's great for every day. But it also gives you a little pop of color to go in there. I mean, they got a blue, they have like a silver, they have some purples. They have a dark green. So you kind of get the taste of branching out into color, but it's not a rainbow palette either. The next one is the Zodiac Love Sign. So I did a whole Five Looks One palette series on this. The playlist will be linked down below. But this is so pretty. It's like the warmer toned sister of the Zodiac palette. I think they have a third, they have like a crystal one. I'm not gonna get that just because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I don't really need that. This is so beautiful. I uh, Again, I've done five looks of this palette, so I'm going to link that down below for you. You're going to love it. But you still got your pops of color. So you have a pink, you have turquoise, um, lots of pretty golds in here. Totally my vibe in a palette. Just going to say that right now. Um, same baked shadow formula. Same with the highlighter in the center. But... Um, yeah, I have not reached for it a ton recently, but I definitely want to because oh, they're so good. And this matte formula in here, that's like the classic BH Cosmetics formula, and it's so good. Right. The next one is the Santa Fe palette from BH Cosmetics. Obviously, Anna. Oh my goodness. This tiny, like those narrow strips of eyeshadow can be a little difficult at times when you are trying to get a brush in there. You know, you're just like, ooh, kind of like going back and forth almost. I find that a touch bit annoying, but it's not bad. Um, there's only one really deep shade in here, and is that one. It's called Sage. This is a very pretty palette. You have some nice red tones in here. You have a blue. I really think that this is a nice palette. Um, and the shimmers in here are also phenomenal as well. So this one was my first BH Cosmetics palette. Uh, my best friend Michaela convinced me to buy it. Um, this is the Galaxy Chic palette. This is so good. I have done full looks with this. Like when I first got it and whatnot. And I still will. Um, there were times when I would take something like this and put it over the lid. And then I'd put the blue shade over the top that's when I was like first getting into like starting to get back up into makeup but this is so good I love it this will always hold a special place in my heart because I bought it I don't remember when I like it was like in the springtime and I was like a sophomore in college and I, I lived for it oh my gosh it was just like one of my favorite palettes and I I'm like tying like emotions to makeup I need to stop but I love this palette. This one is so beautiful. This is part of their like destination palettes. I like to call them that. They don't really have a name, but this is the Love in London palette. I like this because this is truly a cool toned neutral palette without being purple. So here's what it looks like. So pretty. I'm trying not to get the mirror reflection in here, but they always have a decorated cover on the front. So cute. And they have a perfect amount of shimmers perfect amount of mattes. They do have like a darker purplish shade, um, but they also have like a cool toned silver and a blue in there too to kind of spice things up. But if you truly want cool toned neutrals, you have them. This is also a small enough palette where you can travel with it and it's not too much, but you're not traveling with something like a quad where it's just going to be like you're running out of looks. So that is very nice. Next one is trending in trendy in Tokyo. I just did a video on these. I did it with 
um, the Switzerland palette and then the new highlighter palette that came out earlier this month and I will link that down below for you but this is the rainbow palette now I haven't had too much of a chance to play with this if you want me to do a video playing with this palette let me know um, the front of the palette is so cute and they always have like themed out names and whatnot but oh so cute I love the rainbow kind of like bright theme to Tokyo I mean they also have a little saying in the back like embrace the avant-garde style of Japan City capital city with our trendy in Tokyo palette it's just it was like bright hues are inspired by the chic neon lit metropolis oh, gosh, what does it say about here this one mix of rich neutrals and gleaming metallics to dazzle and define the eyes it delivers vivid color payoff blah 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 Beautiful, beautiful, be blends beautifully for chic effects that captivate the city lights. Oh, love that. Okay. These palettes are just wonderful overall. This one was one of the first palettes that came out with, the, with this whole destination series. And this is Hanging in Hawaii. This is your typical neutral palette. It's got a couple pinks and corals in there. But overall, oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is something if I need a super quick look, this is the palette that I'm going for. Um, it's so pretty. It's the essence of a tropical paradise with this look. And it's got the hot pink. It's got palm tree leaves. and Now this one I did another a separate video on over the summer. I'll link it down below. I reviewed um, the Grease blush palette. And I reviewed the Barcelona one. And then I reviewed this one. Which is the Summer in St. Tropez. This is colorful. But it's not the full rainbow either. Which I like. Um, it totally gives you... The ability to create a neutral look but it also allows you to spice things up with some reds or blue or purple and these shimmers if you look up close here this one looks more green in real life but it's got like a green it's got like I don't know how to explain it it's got like a green shift to it and it's super pretty I go into detail about this in that video so I'll link that down below for you but I love it. It's so pretty. Next, I did a dedicated video on this one as well about Little, uh, like last spring. And it's the Color Festival palette. This is really cute. Um, you got a bunch of glittery metallics in here, definitely on this side. I don't know why my camera's not picking it up. But you're de these are like glitter sparkle they're so beautiful um i go more in depth of course in that video and go check that out but you have the opportunity to create more toned down look or you can like brighten it up you know this neon literally matches the palette we have that blue we have pinks um the whole nine yards any kind of like festival look you want to create you can create with that and I just love it. This is one of the new palettes that I reviewed, and that's also linked down below with the Trendy in Tokyo palette. But this is called Smitten in Switzerland. Revel in the majestic allure of the Swiss Alps with our Smitten in Switzerland palette. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. It's a very, it's a more cool tone palette. Um, I think that's kind of coming back a bit. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. But it's definitely coming back. In my opinion, I see more. You're seeing more and more of it, honestly, because I feel like for a while there we were so saturated with warm tone palettes. While I love a good warm tone palette, something like this is great too. Um, I personally love rosy shades like that for my eyes. I have brown hair and I have brown eyes, and I feel like that just really complements me really well. Um, I like the like the nice transitional matte shades and. Yeah, you also get a little bit of pop of color. You got that olive green, you got that navy blue, this orangey shade. Yeah, I really like these. I think that these are, again, great for travel, just compared to a Morphe palette. They're a good size. You can toss some of these in a makeup bag and they're... This was, oh my goodness, Tati Westbrook made me buy this palette. I love this. This is so good. I am obsessed with this. When I saw this coming to all, no, I ordered it online for Black Friday, um, like last year, 2018, I think. And I, cause I was like, oh my God, Tati reviewed it. I need to buy it. And it didn't come to Ulta. And I was like, so sad, but this is the weekend vessel palette. This is still available. This is just another one of the, the festival palettes, you know, but this is what it looks like. This is so pretty. This is right on my alley. I love some good blues. I, this kind of purple 
is me in a shade in an eyeshadow shade but you also have like the nice bronzy neutral tones which i love um a nice rosy like rose gold pink shade um this just like is like the if i were to take one palette on a vacation and just have a bunch of for, for a bunch of different looks i would take this one um these are like 20 bucks if you see me using any brushes i'm trying to find one any brushes with like a pink handle they're also from this set as well who knew that it's that is just such a good palette if you are i don't know i feel like these top three either one of these three next three palettes and i'm going to show you this one which is number three number two which i have and then number one if you have to pick one palette from bh cosmetics i pick one of these seriously they're that good i'm not kidding next beautiful in barcelona this is just this palette is just different um it's a little bit deeper you know and i think it would look great on like an olive complexion skin tone oh, with these blues or like the maroon oh that would be so beautiful but for me being a pasty very ivory toned girl um i often get intimidated by palettes that are deep like this because i'm like oh god like i'm so fair i don't want to look like i just have like deep like just dark eyes i i don't know but this palette when i was trying it out in that video um it's linked down below i just really enjoyed it i love that you can experiment you can have a nice toasty warm kind of barcelona-esque eye i love the shade familia these up here this creates a perfect look and you still get a matte shade for your brow bone which i love i love that i really want to take some of these and put them on the lid if you want to see tutorials with any of these palettes definitely let me know um because i don't know what you want unless you tell me so um I mean, I, maybe i'll do a look at this i'd love to so number one you guys have definitely heard me talk about it if you have been with me for a while Oh, this is, this is truly one of my favorite palettes, not just of BH Cosmetics, but of all time. And I remember buying this when I worked at Ulta, and I was so excited because this is all Tati talked about for a hot minute, and it's the Desert Oasis palette. Oh. So this side is supposed to be highlighters, this side is supposed to be eyeshadows. I put these right on my lid because honestly some of them are like the sh my skin tone and I can't do that but these are very like look at that look at that all blended out oh my god this is so pretty um I love the pops of blue I know that's so typical of any eyeshadow palette to get like a pop of blue in there but I like it this shade cactus in here is like that duochrome -y, like is it purple? Is it green? Is it brown? The world may never know. It's a very typical shade nowadays. There's definitely no shame in that kind of shade. I love that. But what I also find very interesting and helpful, you can tell that I really like, like this palette. I like that you get a couple of staple transition shades, and I just think that they're often skipped in palettes. The shade Canyon and Dune. I sometimes will mix them. I mainly like Canyon just because Dune is just a little deep for if I were just to do like an everyday eye for work. But you're also getting a deep shade right here that's matte. You can use it as liner. That's Nightscape. But you also get that matte ivory. And I like that. Um, I also, my favorite shade to put on the lid is definitely Mineral and Moonscape. But, oh. This is a typical neutral palette. Hands down, it's quite large compared to one of these city palettes or whatever. This is bigger. There's nothing wrong with it, that size. I would travel with this, but these, I've seen that these shades right here are especially soft, so be careful if you're traveling. I will take makeup palettes on my personal item, and I've never had an issue with that. I always put them in a ziploc bag and i just didn't never had an issue so if you don't want to like crush your palettes do what i do <laughs> oh, that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed i really thought that this whole ranking thing i ranked my entire eyeshadow palette collection over the summer i'll link those down below too but that was so 
fun. I loved doing that. Um, if you, and I, I also rank my highlighters. I'll link that down below too. If you want me to rank any specific brands like Morphe or Too Faced, uh, Urban K, ColourPop, Tarte, that might be a big one. If you want to see any of my palettes ranked, let me know. Usually I will do that out of like palettes that I have more than like two or three of. Something that I can create a substantial video with and not just like, oh, four, three, two, one, you know. I think Morphe may be a good one to do. So let me know what you think. If you want to see tutorials up with any of these palettes, let me know. Any corresponding reviews will be linked down below. So it's the makeup that I'm wearing. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.